South Africa's wildlife draws millions of visitors every year, helping fuel tourism in that part of the world. But poachers could be taking a bite out of the industry. Almost 900 rhinos have been killed in South Africa. Angelo Coppola reports. The park sees 1.4 million tourists pass through its gates annually, and the data shows that that number has increased marginally this year. The park covers some 20,000 square kilometers, 360 of which are on an international border with Mozambique. At the moment, the increase in military and security presence in the park is not a concern for tourists, but that could change in an instant. When you talk to tourists, there is concern. In terms of visible law enforcement, we, we find that they welcome it. Mostly they welcome even vehicle control points. There is, however, no denying that, that this is a risk. We don't regard it as a high risk, but it is a risk to, to the million and a half people coming here. One wouldn't like an incident that could really harm that because the numbers are steadily growing. Uh, this is a unique piece of, of the planet. We must manage that risk very well, and we have contingency plans in place to make sure that we keep poachers away from tourists. The tourist statistics for the national park seem to have held up rather well, despite the tail end of the global financial crisis. This is mostly due to the South African currency weakness in the recent past. It's meant that long-haul tourists still have an appetite to visit the country, bringing in foreign currency. It's a delicate balance in the Kruger, but one that has been maintained. I think, in fact, uh, the media should bring the word out more, uh, more firm that uh, they are uh, informed as to uh, what the activities are and what the threats are, and uh, inform tourists as happy tourists, rather than try and hide it and not tell them about it. One of the reasons tourists visit the Kruger is to see one of the 5,000 black rhino and 20,000 white rhino that are still in the park. It's definitely one of the star attractions of the Big Five, and a sighting is rare. Wildlife tourism is a huge generator of employment here in the Kruger National Park and nationally in South Africa. This is set to be threatened though as the fight to save those rhinos starts in earnest. The issue really is the fact that tourists aren't impacted at the moment. This may all change once and if a tourist and a poacher meet. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in the Kruger National Park.